Hello, my name is Miriam Rodway and I work for the Institute of Refrigeration in the UK. We're part of a team of organisations who've been working on real alternatives, giving e-learning opportunities which are available in 15 different languages throughout Europe. I'm giving here an introduction to our e-learning and particularly to e-learning module one. Module one covers the essential basics, the properties of low GWP refrigerant alternatives. And we should say that these alternatives are available and designed for new systems. We're not talking about using them to uh, retrofit existing systems. Our e-learning program covers the key low GWP alternatives, which include the HFO or A2L family of low flammables, the um, flammable refrigerants such as hydrocarbon, and the um, ammonia carbon dioxide as the, as the key options available to you. The e-learning has been developed over a number of years by a team of learning experts, and they wanted to make sure that our um, material covers key basic properties. So module one, which I'm talking about, is a mandatory module. Anybody who wants to do our e-learning must follow first module one. Module one covers in depth the key properties of those refrigerants. It covers things such as um, how to calculate charge sizing, the class safety classification, flammability classifications. It covers the key applications and it does have some worked examples for each of the different refrigerant types. Um, and then at the end of that module, there's quite a lot of information about additional safety legislation, standards um, and references and additional documentation that you can look at. The e-learning um, is designed for self-study, but it can be used also to support practical training if you are studying these refrigerants as part of a training course. Uh, we'd encourage you uh, to use the e-learning. Um, it also is supported with booklets, so you can take those away, use them as toolbox talks, um, and share the material with colleagues. The e-learning program consists of nine modules, and each module is completely free of charge. Um, at the end of each module, as well as the references to standards and legislations, there's a little, a short self-test, just four questions, a sort of a reminder of what you've learnt. And then if you've completed all nine modules, you will have an opportunity to download a completion certificate. So you've got some evidence of your learning. So we would encourage you to start module one uh, if you are already registered for the e-learning. Um, if you need to register, please go on to realalternatives.eu um, and you can register there online for free. Do let us know how you get on with the e-learning. We are very um, open to taking comments um, and um, revising and updating the material as we go along. Uh, and we do wish you every success in your learning. Thank you very much.